Uh, my, my name is Robbie, by the way, just for Annie who's thinking, fuck, she's rotten. <laughs> if, if you're not thinking that, you might have had too much to drink, sir. <laughs> Yeah. Or maybe you're saying is that Lieutenant Dan? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if anybody sat out in here, but they're filming this gig tonight as well. So if there's anybody in the audience who doesn't want to be identified for whatever reason, maybe you're supposed to be at work or you're out with the ex and the wife knows nothing about it. If anyone doesn't want, if anyone doesn't want to be identified, get one of these off me. If you just keep it up here for the next 10, 15 minutes. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah. Or maybe prefer to have your face blurred. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, uh, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a fully qualified comedian or acting, by the way. I was just sent here tonight by Foss. I'm just doing a few minutes, the rest of the night, going for messages, making tea, shit like that. Does anybody want that in the shop? <laughs> no, good. Uh, who are the people that didn't get the false joke? Have we anybody over from the UK? Yeah! Yeah, where are you from? Worcester. Worcester. Yeah. Hey, and where? London. Where are you? You, oh, I just, I just go with UK as a general title. <laughs> you're all, you're all welcome to Ireland. Uh, how are you finding the euro? <laughs> <laughs> It, it's a worthless piece of shit in this country. It really is. Yeah. The uh, we we don't even use it here anymore. We just keep it in circulation at this stage, just to fuck with English tourists. <laughs> it's, it's a Scotland guys are all right. We we explain just just to let you know why you're here. Uh, you know, I, I really I, I, I'm only up here three minutes. I've already played the potato card. I apologise. <laughs> Which I imagine looks something like a Pringle. <laughs> Right. You guys are welcome. Just, just so you know while you're here, the Irish currency is actually based completely on a system of points. Uh, somebody does you a favour, you pay them back in points. You know, measures, knocks you up a set of shelves or something. Jesus, that's going to be work, mate. Thanks a million. I'll get you a couple of points on Thursday. They're, they're trying to bring it in on the buses. Uh, now, you want to get a bus somewhere. Run to the airport, please. That'll be a point. Can you break a keg? <laughs> yeah, you know these exact points are only bastards are like. Yeah, you have to go drag a keg off to a shop and get a packet of chewing gum just to break into it. And then you're, then you're leaving the shop carrying 48 pints change, trying not to spill it up. Carry cling film and elastic bands around with you for that day. You, you get wet pockets. I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about now. I'm going to go back into the, the, the pre frozen, the pre, pre frozen, pre prepared script I had written. I'm here ostensibly tonight to give a little talk to all you good people about the dangers of alcohol and drug abuse. Um, I made the mistake of indulging, indu indulging even in a little bit of drug abuse before I had which didn't really help. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not, that was a joke. I'm professional. Fuck off. Who else is high right now? No, I mean, who, who here has ever been stoned? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, just for the lying bastards who have never been stoned, I'll explain what the sensation feels like, okay? Being stoned is like, you know when you walk into your kitchen and you've forgotten what you went in for? <laughs> <laughs> it's like that all the time. <laughs> just a hint of panic. <laughs> See, I think... I, I tell you, I'll start off with the, with the alcohol thing for Do what? I said the females didn't get that. A few people did. The females didn't get that. <laughs> racist, racist against females. Fair enough. It may not be a race, there are a lot of them for themselves. Don't get me fucking starting on women. Jesus fucking Christ. Did it? I love the way women love to catch you out with trick questions to see if you really love them. I'm going to let you into a secret, ladies, right? We don't know what fucking colour our eyes are. Our 
apparently it's important to have someone in your life to continuously list all your faults. <laughs> I mean, you, you know, you, you're lovely. You're lovely when you if you start going out with a girl. It's always nice at the start because you just do cute stuff, you know, like wearing all the tops and stuff like that. And, uh, but like after a couple of years, you just you just do annoying shit like like wearing all the tops. And, uh, <laughs> but anyway, the, the alcohol. Basically, are there any alcoholics in tonight? Hey. One hand, one very old hand down the back. Just go on. But now, by alcoholic, I don't mean the kind of person that stands on a street corner screaming at traffic. I know they're not here. They're out there screaming. I'm talking about your average workaday functioning borderline alcoholic. Usually male. For some reason, alcoholism tends to hit men more than women. I think that's just because men can't multitask. If you're a man and you have a drink problem, that's all you can fucking deal with. You, you haven't got time for, for changing your clothes or eating solids or washing yourself or any of the stuff that's going to cut into valuable drinking time. Whereas, whereas women, again, well, I mean, women can be fully alcoholic, but still, you know, match their shoes to their bag or, or, or remember shit you said four years ago with the fuck back in your face during an argument. But, you know, men, men tend to suffer worse. But I made the switch. I made the switch from a life of constant drunkenness to a life of constantly being stoned. Once, long ago. And I, I mean, you weigh up the pros and cons. What's the worst thing you could do? Constantly drunk. Probably get behind the wheel of a car, drive off, hit some fucker, I don't know. The worst thing I've ever done stoned, and this is the bottom line, folks, the worst thing I've ever done stoned is I once got so fucked I couldn't stand up and I had to sit through four hours of Spongebob Squarepants. <laughs> <laughs> Which, if anything's only enhanced by the drugs. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been running for <laughs> Thank you.